Yo, what up? It's Jason Breakdown here over at Fresno State University. And um, today, since I got some free time and I'm just chilling up in this uh, barren facility here, um, let's talk about plan metrics. Let's talk about elasticity. Let's talk about that stretch shortening cycle. Um, plan metrics. I'm going to show us a cool little tip today that's going to help you apply this elasticity factor to all your movements, okay? Olympic movements, uh, jump movements, any type of explosive method should have some sort of basis touching ground with this elasticity principle I'm going to teach you guys today. Now, one of the biggest things to realize is that there is never just a forward pulsion. I mean, we have to create some sort of elasticity if we're coming from motion um, to get our best uh, output from our body. So what I'm going to teach us today is a little idea to keep in the back of your head when you're uh, launching yourself through anything really. So check it out. Absorption is going to be the key to create a spring load. So when I am landing in any sort of, sort of output, either laterally or linearly speaking, I need to make sure and absorb my loads. So simply today, I'm going to show you guys how to do a box jump properly and to uh, absorb these loads to create uh, more healthy movement as far as what we're doing to our joints and accelerating ourselves through a little bit of physics of our body. So today I'm going to show us a counter jump. A counter jump is where I'm going to really load myself as far as produce a counter movement before I jump to keep myself very light and explosive as far as the elasticity. So when I come down, I'm going to make sure and create a good collapse where I'm still in my midfoot strike zone and I'm beginning a nice little angular uh, transition between my ankles, knees, and hips as I explode through this extension up on top of the box, making sure to jump out of your hips before you make any formal changes um, in your movement as far as from preparation for landing. So in a little bit of motion, we want to see ourselves create a little bit of break and extension. Break, extension, before we... Break, extension. Before we hop on the box. I'll show this one more time, and I want to create a break and full extension, then worry about that landing. So break, extension, and land. And land. So, a quick little tip about all this box jump stuff, crossfitters, jumpers, basketball players, football players, you name it, is the better elasticity you put on your body, the more spring you're going to end up creating in the end. 